effort to focus our Good heart day, grade and minds. I am here on again. What teacher we are about to learn? Your teacher in science. Inspire us our topic with the for whole today spirit. is about as we study Ways our lesson of heat transfer. Forgive us, Lord, for all our sins. As we living as organisms, organisms, Jesus Christ, you and I need heat to stay alive. Too much heat is dangerous for us. Luckily, humans have discovered and learned how heat travels, how to produce it, and how to keep it away when it is not needed. To understand what heat is, let us first define what is heat. Heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from one object to another, or even created expense of a loss of other form of energy. It is a condition of being hot. Have you ever tried to touch the flame of the light candle? What do you feel? In one second. In five seconds. Did you feel the heat? Now, imagine that you have a pot of full of water and you put the pot on the stove. The pot becomes hot and after a few minutes, the water becomes boiling. The stove produces fire. And the energy formed in the fire was then transferred into the pot. That's why the pot becomes hot and then the water starts to boil. This process is called the heat transfer. There are three forms of heat transfer. We have Conduction, convection, and radiation. First, let us study the conduction. It is the movement of heat that occurs when atoms and molecules bump into one another. Energy is transferred by direct contact. The keyword here is direct contact. Conduction happens when a warmer object touches a cooler one. When you cook with a burner or stove, the burner touches the bottom of the iron pan. Heat energy flows from the atom of the pan to the atom of food being cooked. Next, we have the convection. It is the transfer of heat by current of molecules in liquid and gases. The transfer of heat by the movement of fluid. Convections happen in liquid. Conduction hits the water at the bottom of the pot. Soon, warm water rises and cooler water sink. The steam coming out of the hot water in the form of warm air rises because of the heat of the fluid. Last, we have the radiation. Radiation is a transfer of energy from its origin to the surroundings. Energy is transferred by electromagnetic radiation. Heat transfer by wave motions. The most common example of radiation that we feel every day is the sunlight. Human and animals use the heat of the sun to warm their bodies. If you face the sun on sunny day, you feel much warmer. We receive heat and light from the sun. The sun's energy travels in space. The sun's energy is a kind of radiation. Heat energy from the sun moves the earth through radiation. When the radiation touches an object, it makes the atom of the object move faster. Then the object becomes warmer. Oven heat food with radiation. Television comes by radiation. Radiation passes through air, glass, and other matter without warming them much. Plants use the light energy from the sun to make food through the process of photosynthesis. So if we look back, we have three ways of transferring heat. Conduction, convection, and radiation. We can sum all these ways of transferring heat in one diagram. Example, in a campfire. Imagine that you are in a camping, 
and you are boiling a water about the flame. Right now, in this video, we can see the three ways of transferring heat. There is a conduction happening as the flame transferring energy direct to and throughout the pot as the result of molecular contact. Additionally, there is convection as heat from both boiling pot and the flame itself is rising up as the result of density differences. And finally, there is radiation occurring all around the campfire as energy travels away from the flame in the form of electromagnetic waves. And that's the quick look of heat transfer. According to the Word of God in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18, By beholding, we are becoming transformed into His likeness and with ever-increasing glory. Now, let's have an exercise. Tell the following example if what form of heat transfer uses in the following pictures. Let's begin! 